One, two, three, four. Maybe we'll go with five or four. I think four. No, you know what? Let's go with five. Hey everyone, RG here and welcome back to the third episode of Let's Build an Arcade and in the previous episode, this is how far we got and I do have uh, some modification that I want to uh, to apply to the exterior before we jump into the interior, yes, we are doing it today I'm not quite sure if we're gonna finish it, finish it, finish it today but, uh, but yeah, we're definitely gonna go inside, I've planned some uh, some things that I really want to create inside. Now, um, now quick uh, quick note, as you can see here, those are the things that definitely no, this this thing is not gonna be uh, a thing. But uh, those are the items that we're gonna use, and all of them gonna be usable. Um, unfortunately, we don't really have much more things that we can apply to uh, to an arcade, to a local arcade, because you need to remember this is a small build. Okay, at the end, it's small build. It never meant to be like a big huge an arcade center uh, if this will be a success at the end maybe we will make an arcades an arcade an arcade center but yeah right now we are doing a local arcade so those are the items that we are gonna make eventually uh, working in the, in, uh, in our arcade but I do plan to add more uh, more items that you can find in arcade uh, that are not gonna be functional but they are gonna spice things up, gonna make the arcade look more like an arcade and not just a bunch of items uh, to play around inside a arcade in shape of a joystick. But first and foremost we need to enter some code so we will be able to uh, to start working. So let's let me give uh, let me give. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, BB point show no um, point move object. I just want to make sure that I have all of them activated. BB point show hidden objects and BB point show live edit objects. Okay, now uh, you can see in the corner right here we have Timmy the mechanic, my boy. You already know him. He's the one that uh, doing all the upgrades for uh, for the custom made fireplaces that I am creating and stuff like that. I'll leave a link to a tutorial how to do them. Uh, in the description down below but we do need uh, Timmy today because we are gonna go into the inside of this build and he is gonna help me changing some light colors and, and, and stuff around that um, area so we are gonna start off by uh, some of you um, pointing out that maybe we should get rid of uh, those uh, plants here once and for all let's be on the same page the area here is meant to be for uh, for teenagers, and as you know, teenagers are uh, loving to do stuff not in the proper way. So those those uh, benches here, uh, they basically the story behind them and why the whole thing is kind of messy is because those teenagers took them from another place and brought them over here, and the trash can is because you know they're doing some stuff and they don't uh, they are lazy let's face it and they don't want to go all the way to uh, the trash can which is there any trash can around this space I, I don't believe so they are not gonna go all the way to a trash can in the beach over there let's say uh, to throw something so they need it as close as it possible for them uh, so so they brought the trash can over here okay so that's the page now let's uh, keep building. So let's take those um, those bushes down. Let's see if, if I'm good with it, okay? There were some advices or, or ideas that you uh, you pointed uh, and and some of them I agree, some of them I don't because at the end it's it's the way I, I, I think it's the best for the build. Of course, this is my opinion. Um, but you know what? I can live without those, uh, without those uh, um, bushes over here. And we do want to take those dividers or blockers or whatever you want to call them and change them. I ask you if you want to change them, if you think we should. And most of you said uh, that we should. So we are, and I think it's somewhere over here. There we go in the debug section. Let's take one, two. It will fit better, especially at night. It will fit better. Uh, maybe we should add some at the back also but i'm not quite sure because those dividers or, or, or blockers are meant for cars um they are here so cars won't like you know 
past that area to to the biker biking section. Okay, so maybe you can place one like here um, as a light indicator. You know what? That, that's nice. Wait a sec. Let's let's try that. Again, we are doing like small touches for the exterior, and we will go into the interior. And I worked yesterday, and I have to say that this is one item that you're not gonna watch me create because I had to work so hard on it. I created, and hear me out, I created a, a how do you call it? An arcade slots. And I'm not talking about like slots machine, uh, you know, that you gamble in. I'm talking about the games, the slots games or, or whatever you want to call them. Is that working for me? Or it's too much? I'm not quite sure. It's definitely not the same line. Uh, maybe we need to move that around a bit. Like so. That's better. How does it look at night? I actually like it. You know what? I'll leave it. I like it. That's definitely something I want uh, in the game. So uh, thumbs up for the one who uh, pointed that out and suggested to put some dividers over there. And uh, one small thing I want to do is in this area, I want it to be look like the stuff around. So we're gonna look for some bushes look like this. And I believe you can find them in the debug section also. So of course, after after some searches, I uh, <laughs> I'm coming back, and this is the bush that we were looking for. So we're gonna place one here, take another one. This is part of the basic game. I don't know why I looked for it so much. This is actually a part of the base game. I just want uh, this area to uh, to fit more into the environment that we are in. So this one, and I'm looking for, um, we can actually use this one here to give it a bit more of the design that the, uh, the environment has. And maybe some stuff like this, just to, um, and we can do that. Add some rocks around the area, and we are gonna use the terrain to fit more, um, to give it a bit more realistic vibe with, um, how do you even call it? Is this something that we have here? I believe some areas do have it, like here. So we can place a small version of it, like in here. And yeah, it doesn't need to be fancy this area. Again, this is like small finishes to the exterior, I'm super satisfying with the uh, with the overall design of the exterior. Uh, where is it? Where is it? No. We can use always this one. This is one of my favorite plants in the game. I don't know why. It just looks good, in my opinion, of course. So we can do that. Of course, give them so they will not look exactly the same. So give them a twist. Add some more rocks. Okay, okay, I like it. Now, uh, one a small thing that we do need to do, as I said, using the terrain tool, and we want to give it more of a realistic vibe by adding some ground effect on the section where the um, the tiles are kind of uh, connected to the uh, to the ground itself. Not sure if this one is the one that we're looking for. We can use this one and make it dimmer or soften, like this. Okay, that's okay. We can, we can, like, so. Okay, that's better. And of course, we are not gonna leave the stone themselves. We're gonna add some area like that. Now we can delete some of it. Like this. Those are small, really small touches that you can add. It will always, always upgrade your design instead of just having it. Now, by the way, uh, debug as items, sometimes you have some trouble to get underneath them. So if you go close enough, 
Now, those are bushes, so you cannot really do it, but if you go close enough for a uh, so, uh, uh, debug item, they will, there you go, as you can see, they are vanishing, and then you can paint underneath them, okay? So let's see if we can do it. No, on those, those ones we cannot, but as you could see, I could do it over here. So um, let's do it just around them, give it a bit more of a realistic design. And let's take that to the bench where it is kind of connected to the ground and maybe to the area where the feet's gonna be something like this okay that's better and of course around the build where it is like blending into the ground you can edit this like so there we go somewhere here we should do something I don't think so now this area can stay um, empty I don't really see any good reason to add anything here we can always add some more um, some more uh, uh, you know electricity stuff in that spot if you have an idea what we can do in this area here maybe I don't know, uh, I don't see any good reason to do anything with it, uh, but I still like the idea of having that trail here, like in this area, instead of like just like this. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it and, and do something at the end, like really end, end design polishing. So this is the exterior, now let's start with the interior, which is going to be awesome. Now, in the interior, I have a small idea of creating, like, when you are getting inside the arcade like this, I want you to be able to look down and see all of the arcade build builds, like arcade design, okay? So I want to go down into the ground, so we will take the items outside, you know what, we will take only one from each and then I can just duplicate it without, um, without looking for it this okay now as we said we want the overall design of the inside to be like like the the walls should not be super crazy and colorful we're gonna go with simple black and the colorness colorness is that a thing the colorful colorness whatever you want to call it is gonna come from the um, the machines and the lighting that we are gonna work super hard on that niche in this build I believe um, so let's go with black and we don't want basic game colors black and we want to find this one I think we should add lights right now so we we will be able to see what we are doing so let's take the most um, effective one which is this one those are like small spots uh, we are just gonna place them so we'll have light in the spot that we are working in. Now, I want to go down, which means I want to create a basement. So let's create a basement. And I want to have, like, you go inside, I want to create here some seating area. And from here, a some sort of a spiral staircase down. In this area on the bottom, you will see in a second, I want to create the place where the... Um, when you can go and get yourself what, uh, whatever you just won playing the machines. You know that any, any arcade when you're playing something, you can uh, get some tickets and with that ticket you can... Okay, what just happened? There we go. Um, and with that ticket you can actually uh, do stuff, you know. Uh, let's just uh, do the basics for what I'm, um, like what I'm seeing here. And then we will create a bit more. We go to more details. Now, if if this area here, as you can see, this area is not a foundation. Now, if I'll take a foundation and place it, it will mess the whole building. Now, if I'll close it, it will create some sort of foundation here, I believe, right? Or not? See, that, that's messing. Sometimes there are so many bugs and small things that can mess 
um, as the Sims 4 building process, it can drive me crazy. Okay, so I want to have a spiral staircase, something around here. So, and I wanted to hug a brick wall, not the whole wall, only a brick wall, something like this. I want to go down here like this, or maybe I want to go down like this. You know what, let's try it. Let's bring a... Um, we can start with that, see how it goes. Come on. There we go. If I'll do that, and then like this. Okay, so we are gonna move this thing like so. And this thing like this. And we need to go to the downer area to move that thing over here. Yeah, of course. Working with the basement is one of the most challenging thing that you can do in the Sims 4 game. It's it's kind of really, really, really hard to get what you want exactly. So, um, this and this, not too much. Maybe we can go from this spot like here. That's a possibility. So it's not gonna be like a fully spheral. Is that a possible? Oh, come on. Mm. I can live with that, I believe. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll go with this. And I want to be like from, yeah, like this. And black. I don't want them to be so much vis uh, like visible. I, I don't want them to catch the eye too much. Now in this area here, I want to, first of all, let's finish the upper area. And for that, I want to add some railing on top. Not quite sure about those railing yet. Glass? Yeah, the glass is cool. But it needs to be black. Black, 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 black. Where is it? There we go. Black. There we go. Okay, so basically you go into the arcade and then you'll have a view. Like, there we go. Go into the arcade and you'll have a view of all of the machine down here, like in front of you, which is, that's that's the idea. The only thing that you can see that is kind of messing the whole design is the um, the line that basically separating the uh, basement from the upper area. I don't know how to get rid of that. I tried some things in other builds and, and I'm not sure how to get rid of this. But uh, now let's put some, some, some flooring. Um, those flooring might be like, uh, it's not gonna be permanent. Maybe I will change them a bit more uh, because I do want to uh, work on the floor and maybe add some some design of, of, uh, of some gaming thing into the floor. Not quite sure yet, but we'll see. That's the whole beauty of building something with you right now. Um, Okay, so let, let's create, I want to create this area here, which is going to be the prize, um, like the cashier area and, and, and the pricing, uh, receiving area. Pricing or prices? Prices. So, let's start with something. Mm, okay, I need to go down. Okay. So he can go from this area and we're going to close it to that area. Is that okay? It is. So the differences. Um, actually, the green I like. I really like the green. But I'll go with the green. Let's do it. Oh, come on, go down. Now we need to change that to be like an end. An end one. Now, do we want to go with that? Like this. It will give like a flow inside. Oh, we want to go with this. Hmm. 
interesting. A lot of uh, a lot of things that you really need to um, you really need to do is test. That's a lot of time. Uh, like 90% of the time that you're building in the Sims, you're doing some tests to see if, if it's fitting your design. If it's not, um, let's do that. Do we want to give a counter side like this to the area? Do we want people to to sit here? I'm not quite sure that I want to. Uh, because it, it's not supposed to be like a seating area. Let's do this and then we want a corner one. Like this one. And take another one. And another one that's gonna be a bit glitchy. Because it's supposed to close the area. How does it look? Okay, okay, I can work with that. Now, we're doing it roughly and we, as I, as I show you at the beginning, we are gonna do the changes uh, with time. So we want to have areas for prizes. Like this, something like this. And right here we can put some dolls and, and things to win and big prizes you can place like inside those things and the the wall I don't want it to be black I want I want the wall to be something else now what type of wall should be there brick can be cool uh, it's a possibility not quite sure about what uh, to put here, but uh, let's fill uh, the counter with, first of all, with cash. Register, cash, cash. There we go, cash register. And we can take the older one. Like the, we want the older one or the, the new one? It's more of a high-end arcade, so I think we'll take the new one like this and this okay I'm starting to doubt the green white but let's see how it goes um, now I'm looking for the prizes which are those things okay so we can get a teddy bear like this and bring it up like that oh that's nice okay bring a bigger one a bigger one can be even on the ground this one we'll take down for now and a chopper of course we all want like an AC chopper things that you can but we need to separate them a bit I think. here we can place some more cars and stuff um, relating to vehicles and now we can we can even change the colors. Okay, that, that thing can look awesome if it will turn uh, turned out as I think it should look like. <laughs> but you see, that, that's the idea, that's the general idea. I think it can look awesome. I do believe that we need to go with darker color here. Although the colors that you see are not going to be the, the colors that are inside the, uh, the arcade, mainly because the, the, um, uh, the lights are going to be much more like darker. They're going to be... Um, do we go with black? Let's see if it's possible. Okay, okay. Oh. Now, the lights that I do want to apply here. Wait a minute. Uh, let's finish first the prices. Prices? Why, why I keep saying prices? Prizes, right? Mm, what else we can fit here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, not quite sure. Really not quite sure. There are not enough 
items. Maybe I don't have. I don't have, I think, the kids' room. Uh, oh, there we go. We can have some boats. Not quite sure what we can add more. And we are kind of... I don't want to fill it too much anyway, because now let's uh, place the um, scoreboard. Now the scoreboard should be somewhere here, I believe. If I'll write board. So uh, let's look for it. Like how they call that item that I'm just holding is Let's take this board over here and exit sign, of course, we always need to put in. There we go. This is the board. This is the scoreboard. We can make it smaller. Place it over here. And this one can go over here. This is the area of like important notes slash scoreboard. <laughs> Even change it a bit. There is another one, okay. Now, I, I do want to work on the lights in this area, which is here. Do I want to make something like this, like spots on the things that you can win, or like lights behind them? We can do that. And then we can change the lights to fit the design of the um, of the build. Let's do that. Like this. I think that looks good. Okay. Now I do think that we are missing here some neon colors, and we can do something with those lights to fix it. We can do something like this and that and that just working with it to give it more of a and of course the Moschino staff pack which is gonna be awesome to use here uh, right now I'm really going can call it even crazy um, with the stuff I'm using because uh, I'm trying I'm seeing what is working what is not working that is I think is super cool here and then 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 we can add that thing so no too much too much too much now uh, this is why Timmy is here uh, you remember my mechanic is it's here it's he is here for a reason uh, you'll see it in a sec we'll do this for an example remember I'm trying stuff right now and now Timmy here will change the colors of this um, colors this light let's add it as blue or green green love it and this one change color this light maybe blue or red red ish purple purple like it okay so you see that's why I brought the uh, the mechanic over here because we are gonna work a lot with uh, lights and for that I needed him he's necessary uh, wait a minute. Okay, so this is gonna be the general design of the cashier station and the place that you can get yourself the prize. Uh, price. I keep saying price. Prize. Uh, Jesus. Okay, and now let's work on the the design of the arcade itself, like the the machines. And hear me out. I want to place those on the sides okay like here place one place two and here i'm gonna place three and four and of course you can change the colors of them which will give the vibe of different types of games oh come on moving too fast 
this. Okay. Now, for the middle section... <coughs> for the middle section, I have something amazing to show you. Are you ready? Yesterday, I was working super, super hard to see if I can make this. And after three hours of thinking and working, look what I created. I'll show you it uh, right here outside. So you will be able to see the whole build. Look at that! This is <laughs> an arcade gaming slot or gaming machine. Now I'm not gonna show you how I created it because it took so many times until I found the stuff. But I am gonna break it down for you right now so you can see from what items uh, this thing is built from. So. Be with me. This is some sort of an end table. The um, the um, buttons are a bottle, and there uh, like the curve here. Okay, the curve the curve here, uh, like this, is from another end end table. So we can take them down, take them outside. The buttons, as you can see, let's take. Uh, uh, all the things out. The buttons are from... This is some sort of item from university. I never really experienced the whole university pack. So I'm not quite sure. This is from the debug section in university pack. And I place them on a... <laughs> uh, like... Descaled a end table. And then manually place them back inside. So they will give the vibe of buttons. The... Um, the... Um, the screen is basically a tilted um, TV on an end table. Now, how to tilt uh, those uh, those objects? I created a tutorial, so I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, how to tilt them? So the bottle bottle is the like the joystick, and those are some uh, you can see uh, bookshelves or books. Uh, um, Cabin, cabinets or, or whatever you want to call them and this is the same table that is holding the um, the TV and all of that together control Z a lot created created the um, the machine so now what we're gonna do we're gonna take it and we're gonna make it like each machine is a different game now yes this is not usable but it's gonna spice things up in the game and the things that we are gonna build together is an idea that I have in mind. Uh, we are gonna create, you know, the game that you throw some uh, basketball, like mini basketballs, into a hoop. So this machine we're gonna build together. But let's take and uh, work with that. And I created another one just to show you. I created another version of this. Uh, this one is the one. Um, and it is a bit different and with a bit different colors and layout of the uh, buttons and we're gonna work with them both together uh, and uh, we will see how we can create a really well kinda realistic arcade with this let's make sure they are facing the right direction and they are in the middle I believe this is one two are the middles so one And as you can see, some of the things are not here. So maybe it's because we are like um, like copying them. So if I'll place it, there we go. It will look great. Now, once I've made that, let's take another one, place it near it. And another one, place it near it. And we are going to change them a bit. And you'll see in a sec how I'm going to do that to give them the... Um, like, like the impression that each one of them is a different game and I'll see and I'll tell you, tell you how to and I'll show you in a second, I have an idea, let's see if, if it's possible. Let's place another one here. One, two, three, four, maybe we'll go with five or four? I think four. No, you know what, let's go with five. Five, yeah, five here. And another one here. Um, there we go, that looks great. Oh my god. And I just want to remember you that this machine is CC3, okay? Yes, I've used the tool mod to tilt the uh, the um, the screen, 
But again, you don't need to own the mod in order for it to work in your game. Look at that, that looks so awesome. Oh god, look at that. Is that an arcade or what? Oh, come on. Does this look like an arcade or what? Now, let's make each one of them look like something, like a different uh, machine. And how are we gonna do it is simple. On each one of them, we are gonna, like, connect to it or, or put on some sort of a poster or something that would indicate the type of game that you can play in the machine. For an example, let's say that this one is gonna be for playing basketball game. Okay? So we'll take this one, descale it, and manually place it in front, like this. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, wait a minute, let me finish the, the ground. That looks awesome, and I cannot really place it on the upper area here because of the angle here, but we can place it on the side of the machine, uh, like this. Like, okay, that's a bit wonky. Let's <laughs> fix it. Like this. And we can change the color. Yeah, I love that. Want to blue? You know what? I think it will look better on the black one. But um, that's, the, that's the general idea. That's how you do it. You just place some posters and different type of of, um, of uh, pictures on the slot machine why I keep calling it slot machine on the arcade machine and you are basically creating a new type of machine of gaming machine and now let's keep looking for something else to put and basically create all sort of types of games uh, who can actually use the posters right here like this one this one looked like a I don't know what maybe something regarding the end of the world um, no the only thing that is a bit bummer oh this one looked like doom or something like that that's too small right yeah it's too small too high come on okay is that okay yeah it is okay that is awesome do the same here try to put it in the middle for those who want to play the sims game <laughs> like pixelated sims now the only the only downside that I see on those are those pin those small pins that kind of um, ruining the design, but um, I can think. I think I can work with it. This is the classic uh, block blocks or whatever. How do you call that game? Here and look, we created a different type of arcade games. So let's do the same thing on those here. Um, look for something. That can look like a game okay and last but not least we can actually use this one as like a horror game maybe I should put it on a black one uh, you know what I would place it instead of the what will go better with the orange one I think the blocks might be better here Okay, I can I can work with this yeah, definitely. Beautiful. Oh, too much inside. Okay, and and right now the only thing that we need to do is to take the same poster that we placed and place it on the side of the machine, like this. Those in the middle, I'm not quite sure how much you really need to do that, but uh, that's that's an option. You can do it because it will uh, it, it will already be hard to uh, to spot it. 
so uh, no one really gonna see this but uh, why to do half of the work right if we do something we do it right so I'll do that and I will uh, come back to you okay so we are back and a look at that how beautiful it is so many gaming uh, like game machines and and stuff to do around our arcade let's take a look at how does it look right now this is the inside of it and I do plan to add more things and I want for that to extend the area right here the only problem is the gap here See, this is a problem so we need to do it in a different way we need to create another section here like this and maybe we'll add another section over here so let's see how it ends up um, we're gonna need to break down those areas because I want to fit more items here right so let's add those things and I, I want to be a separate area so as a separate area I want a different type of, um, of flooring for it and to the other area I want to have um, some sort of frame to enter maybe this thing and the right color okay in this area um, let's just do it roughly right now in this area I think we should have the, 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 the there we go those the darts because you need a um, place uh, over here here we can put like a seating area some uh, some light maybe some more neons and stuff like that but, but yeah that, that's that's um, like the separation of the whole building in terms of uh, things now for for what I have in mind here you're gonna be blown away okay because I want here to create do you remember what I told you at the beginning I want to create the mini game of basketball you know what I mean that you have small uh, things that you can throw uh, throw mini um, uh, basketballs into a hoop and you have a scoreboard above you and you have like one minute or something like that let's do that and I do have in mind like the overall design how to do it so we do need to work with something to do that as so um bas basketball let's take this one and downgrade it or descale it twice so it will fit one tile and now we need to work all the way around this to create it so let's do it like this maybe I should go one like this one should be higher and then we can take a shelf shelf scale it place it here okay that can work place it here and bring Timmy because we need to tilt it tool rotate Change Excel to rotate and let's give it like 45 is too I think it's too much 30 uh, maybe that's even too much also um, to let's say rotate minus 10 so it will give us the angle of 20 that I think can work so the same thing that's actually good so we're gonna do the same thing here and to rotate and here we need to go with 20 okay minus 40 <laughs> minus 40 there we go a bit wonky because in my uh, in my design in my original design in my head the um, the like the angle here should have been made from um from roof and then you have one nice flow without 
wonky uh, glitchy area. Now we can do it again. <laughs> Okay, and and then 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 let's add the trim. Okay. A bit more blackish. Okay, that's that's working. We need to have some sort of a border like fence over here, so it will um, protect the balls from flying off when you're playing the game, right? So I do have an idea. First of all, let's finish the small touches here like that mm. see the balls are like rolling back to that area that's the area they bo the ball's gonna roll roll in and maybe we can tilt this thing you know so it will look a bit better. Let's try that. We're gonna need two of them. Tool, rotate. Um, what we were going with? 20? Tool, rotate, 20. It's still gonna be a bit, a bit glitchy in that area. Come on, what's going on? Mm. Okay. That looks great. Not quite sure that we need two of them. Okay. We need to change the color inside. That looks awesome. Okay, 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 okay. Now uh, debug, and we are looking for a one particular fence. I do have, uh, I, I know what fence I'm looking for, but we need to find it somewhere here. Not this one. A bit more. There we go, this is the fence. Perfect fence for our uh, build. So we can do it like this, or place it here and bring it up a notch, like this. That looks awesome. Awesome? I think it looks awesome. You let me know. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. How do, you, uh, uh, how do you find this build so far? What do you think about our machines that we created? for our ba basketball game, mini basketball. That is awesome. Well, I believe so. And we are looking for a small basketball now. If I'll type basket. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of easy. What's the difference between this one and this one? This one is with the dunking thing. So we're going to take this one. Dunk scale it. And place it over here. Beautiful. Downscale it. Over here. Downscale it. Place it over here. Downscale it. Remember the small details making anything big. Look at that. I'm just in love with this area. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One last small thing. I want to create like a scoreboard above it. Now, the problem that we have is this. I want to use this thing because if you descale it, look at that, you keep the numbers and you don't see anything else. So we descale it and bring it up into that point like this. The only downside that is there is like this small, you can see here, this small um, like line here, but I think it's worth it. 
we can even use this thing. Bring it up. There's a school board above. Like this. And what do you think about this? That is... wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so hyped for this. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's take another neon color. I think in this area it looks... it's gonna look awesome. big see th this is the idea the colors are gonna come from the neons and what just happened I don't know like the screens here vanish I think it's because when you're doing some changes to the structure um, some items might disappear even if you have the uh, the move object so I'm gonna need to fix that um, let's see if it's uh, easy fix, so I need to break each one of them. I believe it's uh, it's a bit more difficult, yeah. I cannot place it like right now, so I'm gonna need to work on it to fix that, don't worry, I'll do that. Um, but yeah, those are the problems that we have when we are building together something, when you're doing some changes to the build, it can kind of break things uh, that you just finish or are never meant to be used that way. So I'll fix that later. But still be hyped for that, uh, for those machines. Because now we just want to uh, duplicate this thing. Let's duplicate one, two. Of course, things right now, as you can see, are vanishing. Three we want. Yeah, we can use three of them. We need to change the arrangement of the balls a bit. Because we want each one of them to look a bit different. So they are not like exactly the same. There we go. And we want to change the colors here. But we want we I say I say we like it's we. Of course it's what I want. But do let me know what you want to see um, uh, happening in in the arcade. If if you have any more suggestion ideas of what we can add to um, to our build, let's go to the debug again find the divider, it's not really divider, it's a fence that we used and place them manually again there we go now after doing so I believe we're gonna need to um, not use any um, changes to the walls otherwise it will happen again probably so we need to eyeball it each one of them again because those are the things that's supposed to stop the balls from flying from one side to another side but small um, I'll tell you a secret I was one of those kids or teenagers you want to call them um, that always try to score to the other Oop. <laughs> when you're playing in the one point you want to try and score to the other one so I was one of those kids Perfect. What do you say about this? We can even change the colors of them. Why not to? One can be pink, one can be green. And if we go here, we can change the colors of this one to, um, let's say, no, no, this one, this one. Change this one to, uh, come on. This one change to orange and this one to green. Then they are like all matching. This light green. What do you think of this? Oh boy! Okay, so uh, I need only to fix this area here. Um, and I'll do it off camera because it, it might take some time. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. I think we're, we are gonna finish right here and there will be of course another episode of, of which we are gonna finish. Do let me know what you want to see in, uh, in the other areas, uh, maybe you have some ideas to improvement, maybe some colors ideas. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this episode. If, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new here and you are just joining us, uh, I'm RG, I'm building in the Sims 4 game. All type of builds, mostly unusual as you can see. 
And uh, so consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here. And until the next time, keep that same spotty going for me, because RGR Gaming signing off.